All right, so I just found two hidden commandments in the Bible itself that was hidden. God literally hidden it from when. You got number one, right? Give y'all a little bit of it. Thou shalt not call the man's resolve. What does that mean exactly to some women out there or to some men? When a man makes up his mind, defining like an interest and a track in a woman, you know, one of the main things that's a real big win for him, that he's instantaneously saying, yeah, I'm going for this one right here. She's a keeper. Whatever relationship or whether you want to start a fling or you just want to hit it and quit it, it doesn't really matter. The thing that really gets them really into that sort of chick, this commandment they have to really follow is that they have to be decisive. You know, they have to like really make up their minds, like whether this person that they can agree with and say, yeah, I'll, I'll fuck with him, like he's someone like I could definitely, you know, get behind with, or he's, uh, you know, like me, like I wouldn't really try and spend the time with him, I wouldn't even risk it, anything like that at all, you know, because she's decisive, you know, or even when it comes to like y'all wanting to go out, so you can decide it's either a yes or a no. She's not gonna give you something like a maybe or like um I'll think about it or I gotta talk to someone first. No. Literally they'll decide whether if that's like a yes or no, right there and empty your face. Just point out. If you're coming, you know, at her in a way where you're being direct and you're not trying to be indirect, you know? So that's a man's resolve to say, Yeah, I wanna get with this woman. Her thing as like a commandment is that, you know, the thing of a principle that's most attractive for a man is that she has to be decisive. You know, if she's not decisive, then that wastes the guy's time. Or it's just going through some sort of game, going back and forth, and this weird, like, uh, oh, you know, I'll, I'll do this and then he'll do that. Kind of reactive kind of thing, rather than just really get straight to it, you know? So that's like basically that um, number 11 commandment rule. And you can say number 12, number 12 being. Thou shalt tolerate his golden rule. So that would just mean that um, for a man, it's like one main key important thing. Again, it's being hidden inside the Bible for women. Literally, I literally, I literally just read for the whole thing. I just swim through the whole pages. I literally have to actually notice that. But another main big, like, winner. It's like a win-win for like any woman that wants to apply for themselves. You shouldn't even be telling you this kind of thing. Just literally, hit that from the Bible. Hit that in the Bible from women. All over the entire world for a reason. And I am exposing it. Um, yeah, I would say it's them having like trust, you know? Like trust and respect. So thou shalt tolerate his golden rule. So the golden rule is that he has a principle. The man himself has a principle that they have to always stand by. No woman should actually even try and compromise that's our principle it, it, like he's very easy to like influence or manipulate not even give a shit and just throw his principle out the trash like that then he's in someone that's really worth having like a long jeopardy in a relationship with anything like that at all or even has the material because it's all about that man putting his responsibility first his principle parallel to it as well that's very important um, but the thing is very much that is like a commandment many women themselves are supposed to follow but they just don't know about it like that so no or maybe plenty right now in this new age we're in is that there's the trust you have to have and the respect so you know for a man you following not, you wouldn't say just following but but you happen to be someone who can handle his like bullshit you know like they say women have an emotional baggage you can handle his bullshit so meaning whatever you do if it's a thing where you, you know women do this thing where they test a man or they do this thing where um they just happen to do a thing where it gets him in a certain situation that's conflicted and then that's up to him to decide how he will resolve that scenario Yo, I'm all... yeah, people hit me up. he he has like a certain uh bullshit you know like just, just something like that. Women will call it that. But to us, it's like a, it's like a thing where you will do something, and we would feel some type of way about it. You know, not as much as women on an emotional level, but we would feel some type of way about it. And it's layered out based on new women that they have an approach and communicate with. Mo almost 100% of us will try and hide this initially, 
Over time, as you spend time with them, it will reveal itself if they're not being affirmed with you off the bat. So it's like a bullshit that you have to basically, so, you know, you have to kind of put up, not kind of, you must put up with, you have to do that. You know, if you're trying to really make things work with them in the long run. If not, then, you know, you can do your thing as it is, but you can't really say that you're unhappy, that you can't find the right set of men to, like, spend your life with, you know? You have to actually um, put up with that. A lot of men out there, they don't really try and be upfront with their bullshit with women like that enough. That's why I see so many of them end. That's why I see some strong relationships work, like, say, like, Jay-Z and Beyonce. You know, Jay-Z has his own thing that Beyonce will call some bullshit thing that he does. And she puts up with it to, like, tolerate it. You know, she has, like, a tolerance of it. Not to say that she has to submit to what he's doing, but it's just the fact that she will hear him out on how he feels and what she does. And then they have a better understanding of each other because that communication is very essential. Like, you have to have that communication with each other. And one of the strongest things that makes relationship very um, binding is the communication, you know? Especially when it comes to me having, like, ex-girlfriends. But I'm not going to make a video about me. Um... Having to like want to be each other for a very long time, you have to have that communication. Jay Z and Beyonce have that open communication with each other where for them to spend such a long time with each other for like years, I don't know, 10 years, 15 years now. Like they have an open, not an open relationship, but it's a relationship where they do a little swinger action, I think, if I recall correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Or they have like a, like their little break session, like, okay, she's hitting this dude up, you know here and there and then she's back with him or vice versa with Jay-Z where it's like yeah you got like 20 30 different chicks he's slamming and then she's back he's always back with Beyonce and stuff so they come up with that you know openly they didn't want to initially because someone leaked it out I can't remember who it was um but that's basically how they do things you know that's how they're actually keeping their relationship very healthy with each other unlike the opposite of that's like say someone like Will Smith and Jada Pinkman Smith yeah you see how that situation went? They weren't open about each other. They lost communication with each other. So enough of them get slammed from like some other young dude for like August, you know, some shit like that. You know, and then now they just got divorced. Or I think she filed for divorce on him recently. So that's not really working out because they lack that communication with each other, you know. And you have to have that respect and trust for them, you know, from, your ma from the man, you see, in order to handle that, like, that bullshit that, you know, the man will do. If you're upfront with it, then that'll make things better because y'all are communicating with each other. If you lack that, then it just really won't work out. You'll come to be with them for a while and say, okay, you seem like someone I'm confident with. Months go by, the next thing you know, you look and say, okay, you know what? I'm not liking the way you do shit. Like, you're kind of annoying the fuck out of me. Like, you know what I mean? I didn't kind of expect it. Not a month to like years go by, then suddenly you're just dissatisfied and you don't like what they do anymore. They're like someone that you just don't want to spend time with anymore. Why? Mainly because initially up front, they did not share that man's bullshit thing, you know, his golden rule of what you'll do that makes him feel some type of way. That's very essential, you know. Um, a lot of women themselves don't actually are aware of that or if they don't have enough of that conversation with their man to do it. So, you know, she has to, for the woman, she has to be very tolerant of that in the initial, you know, phase. That's where y'all are building much more trust and, you know, a stronger respect for each other, you know. You can't do that if you're doing it late. If you're doing it late, then that's that room full expectation and you're not communicating properly. You know? So where y'all could have got a much more stronger relationship with each other. So it's very important that, you know, for women, she must tolerate this golden rule. So that's very important as a number, uh, number 12 you know, commandment itself. Yeah. Um, I got much more to address that, the rest of like the commandments itself. I will put it in another video. Um, but I won't bring it out just yet. You guys can say, give me more of a reaction to the video. Leave some comments, say your thoughts about it. You know, give me some of your feedback on, on, on those same two commandments itself. And if thou shall call the man's resolve, and thou shall tolerate this golden rule. And uh, yeah, definitely um, follow more of my other social medias itself. I will definitely come back to you guys in the next video. Until then, I'll see y'all.